This is an extreme competition between four friends. Each person has been given their own prank with a specific goal that they must complete. Becca has to match with guys on Bumble and invite multiple guys to come over. But when they get there, she has to convince them to help her move. And if she can do that, then next she has to get them to carry her on the couch while moving it. And if she can do that too, then she has to get one of them to use an auger for no reason. Rob has to go to a cemetery at 3 a.m. and order DoorDash, but he has to use the name of the person on the gravestone. His only goal is to somehow get a delivery driver to approach the gravestone and leave his food there. Jacob has to go to a job interview because he's trying to hire a new interviewer. He has to get them to agree to work with his fake business. And if he can do that, he has to do it again, then have both of them show up to his fake business the following week and interview each other. And if somehow that's possible, he has to get them both to arm wrestle. And finally, Ross has to announce what everyone's doing. If any of them fail, they're gonna have to hand embarrassing notes to strangers, not knowing what's written on them. If they all succeed though, I have to. First guy's here. Becca, what are you doing? Getting the guy. Can he not just come to your door? He said that he wanted to see me first. Good man. He wanted to see her first. <laughs> I'm Becca. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Becca. Brenda, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you. My house is back here. Okay. You're coming from work? Oh. Uh, you're off today? Uh, He's so nervous. Do you want a water? Yes. Get him alcohol. Um, I don't have a bottle opener, do you? No. <laughs> I'm sure you can do it, right? Maybe. <laughs> Is he trying to twist it right now? Oh my god. <laughs> Countertop. No, nothing. I don't think so. I don't think I can get it open. I guess that Corona was a fail, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Becca, start moving furniture around. You can help moving those? That would be great. Actually, I have my U all here, too. Sip. 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 All right, so this is the problem. I got the couch in the U-Haul. I have a little bit of a problem. Uh, my couch is in the U-Haul, so. Oh, is that why I'm here? <laughs> no. If you're offering, you could help. Let's go get it. Come on, babe. Well, let's go get my couch. It's not too bad. You want to hang out sometime? <laughs> Say it, Becca. Yeah. Here, we can go sit over here. You want to hang out sometime? Cool. Say it. So do you want to hang out sometime? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of idiot says that? When you're already hanging out. Yeah, and this is just the first U-Haul. Yeah, this is the first U-Haul. I have 13. I have 13 of them. My friend's supposed to Sip. be here soon. Drop it because you're too weak. Kind of heavy, hold on. Ugh. How does it feel to be a total sociopath with no regard for any human's emotions? I feel pretty <laughs> yeah, you should. I don't think women should work like this. I don't think us women should have to do this, you know? Oh, my friend's here. You can have a seat. Yeah, tell the new guy, hey, you mind helping me and my friend move this couch real quick? Okay. And then you sit on the couch while they pick it up. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how strong you guys are. That's what you'll say. And then you'll light yourself on fire. <laughs> and you'll burn the house down. And then you'll take off all your clothes and poop in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Come on. Hi, you're just gonna help me and my friend move my couch really quick. You're just gonna do this. <laughs> Can you? You guys should see if you could pick it up with me on it. Sit. Woo! Oh my God, I'm like a real princess. I'll just lay down. <laughs> wow, you guys are really strong. Wow, you guys are really strong. How much do you bench? How much do you guys bench? You must be strong since you're like in the military. One of three goals complete. Becca, Don't you dare that? talk to that man with some disrespect. <laughs> Show some respect. I didn't even ask them to get more, they're just going. Sip. 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 What do you have there? Oh, I just brought some stuff. Oh, I that's know nice. We're gonna want to get right into it or hang out a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. This is my friend. What's up? Nice to meet you. This is my other friend. Becca, start grabbing boxes and move them. This is kind of heavy. Sip. 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 Has anyone ever told you you look like that one actor? What's his name? Has anyone ever told you you Sip. look like that one actor? Which one? Sip. What's his name? Are you talking about Aquaman? No, 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 not that. Wait, I don't know if it's that guy. What's oh, Will Smith. Is it Will Sip. Smith? Will Smith is a black man. Sip. Sip. How's your day going Sip. so far? I've got uh, some chocolates and stuff. Is he from Bumble 2 or you just know him somewhere? 
Oh no, that's just my friend. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, you look like Mr. Beast. You know, you kind of look like Mr. Beast. Do you know who that is? Yeah, I had some guy tell me that. Really? <laughs> The toilet's clogged, so I've just been going in the corner. Don't use the bathroom, the toilet's clogged, so I've just had to go in the corner. Yes. Say it, or it's a fail and you're punished. <sighs> My toilet's clogged, do you know how to fix that? Your what? The toilet. No, I do Move the boxes out of the shop, Becca. On the table behind you, you gotta move the boxes. Behind you. Oh, I'm sorry, can we move these off the table? Oh. Wow. wow! Just like right here, sit, sit. next to the other boxes. Thank you so much, sorry, I'm getting a call. Oh my God! We're creating a monster right now. If you watch closely, you'll see our first man who refuses to simp any longer. Not a simp. He did! He, he left! Yes! 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 Was that the military guy that left? Oh, I think one guy left. This is a great day. This is a great day. <laughs> okay, Sit. put these boxes down for a second. Let me see if uh, my friend can help. Yeah, if you guys could Sit. just help me with those mattresses. Careful not to bend the mattress. I don't want it to break. Be careful not to bend the mattress. I don't want it to break. Sit. Becca, come grab the auger from the backyard, bring it to the front yard, and say, I don't know how to start this thing. Sip. Sip. Oh, you have an auger. Good yeah, do you know how to work this? I actually need to rent one, so I'll teach you to work that if you let me borrow it. Notice how the male maintains his self-respect by requiring something in return for his services. Can you show me how to start it? Yeah. What are you putting here? Um, maybe a torch. Have you checked if there's any... Underneath it. I don't think uh, so. Do you know how to work it? How deep are you trying to get this hole? The female's attempts at dominance have no effect on this male. I don't know. Well, that's important. If there's something running underneath, you got I don't think so. Do the fair hold this and hold it. Yeah. Okay. So you make a bumble account to help people to find people to help you move. No. Next, the male begins to lead the interaction, which is a desirable trait amongst humans. Hold again. Right here. You're supposed to hold this right here. Oh. Uh, hold this. Okay. Okay. The male takes the female's hands and places them on the auger. This male thrives using power tools. The female lets go as she is uncertain of what she's doing. Tell him to go all the way down. Uh, I'm sorry, can you go all the way down? Sorry. Good. Yeah, sorry, all the way down. Here, hold it. Oh. When it starts, oh. let go of that. Oh, so for oh. now, hold that. Oh, okay. Satisfied with the female's engagement, the male finishes the job. The female no longer sees the male as a simp, but a potential mate. Two of three goals complete. Go get a couple beers. Do you want a beer? I don't drink until I get home. Then I <laughs> Say maybe he can open the, the beer. Maybe he could open the beer. Would it get them on the floor though? Why are they trying to twist it off? Do these, these people not drink? Yeah. Oh, you're a sober Sally too, I see. Oh, you're a sober Sally too, I see. Wow, two more. Did it work with your teeth? <laughs> oh, you are a alcoholic Anthony. Uh, you're an alcoholic Anthony. You get the mattress and then we'll get the bed frame. All right, you guys can get the mattress and then we'll get the bed frame afterwards. With the sheet on is fine. They're just working yeah. away. Sip. Thank you guys so much. Sip. I'm gonna make it up to you guys. Thanks. Sip. 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 Three of three goals complete. Sip. 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 Now Becca has to find a time to sneak away and drive off in the U-Haul. Should she say, my boyfriend's gonna be so... <laughs> At the end, at the end. Husband. So Say, oh my God, my boyfriend's gonna be so excited to thank you guys. Oh my God, my boyfriend's gonna be so happy that we got this done. All right, I'm, right now. I'm sorry? I said, I oh, know. wait, I think he's pulling up right now. This is kind of a strange situation. I don't know. You're leaving? Yeah. Not a sip. I'm proud of these men right now. Yeah, I'm so proud. She just said she <laughs> took them long enough though. All right, now get up and go, and go drive your U-Haul away. I have to grab something really quick. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Honk the horn as you leave. Let this be a lesson to all men. They should have walked in there, not moved a single thing and left. No reveal, he's freaking me out right now. What's he doing? Is she new? She literally took the 
Oh, we should all show up and be like, I'm looking for Becca. Hey, like we're yeah, like we're yeah, on a date yeah, too. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh Let's God, all do yeah. that. Hey, we're all we're all looking for Becca. Oh, you... I love your YouTube. <laughs> You're on a prank show right oh now. <laughs> What's I love your YouTube <laughs> channel. We're pranking you right now. <laughs> this is for helping us move today, bro. <laughs> This is honestly oh, better than getting white. <laughs> this is the terrible human being right here. There she is. This is the bad human. <laughs> this whole thing was her idea. So your goal is to have an Uber driver actually approach the gravestone and deliver the order, either setting it on top of the gravestone or handing it to you. All right, he's turning into the cemetery. He says, code please. Just say there's no code. Pull into the cemetery. <laughs> he's gonna be sketched out. He said, where is it? Say, so, yeah, I waved at you right when you came in the, gri in the cemetery. He leave? He definitely saw me. Just place another order. Maybe as he walks up, you just slowly duck behind the gravestone. Like I'm not even really hiding, I'm just there. Yeah, you're not hiding, but like it's your home. Um, I think this is the car right here. Yep, they're coming in right now. Yeah, they drove right by me. Oh, send her instructions then. You passed me right when you came in. She's coming up on my right right now, she can see me. They're dipping. They just dipped, bro. I have another one scheduled in 10 to 15 minutes. He said, are you in a Chrysler? No, I'm in the graveyard. I'm just inside. Is he coming? He said, what's the name of the cemetery? Dear God. It's the only cemetery right next to you. I mean, I mean, he's being fickle. We'll see if he shows up. No, he just drove right past. He didn't even turn in. Yeah, I think they're seeing me. They're just really hoping that's not who they're delivering to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, someone's pulling in. All right, try and get their attention, Rob. There's two cars in the cemetery. There's two? <laughs> they're all too scared to go see Rob. They're meeting, they're yelling, they're talking to each other right now. They're talking to each other like, what the <laughs> No, you go serve it to him. No, you go serve it to him. They just teamed up. They saw me and went, oh, no. Oh my God. <laughs> we just said they hit the gas. <laughs> there was two of you. You could have teamed up on me. Man, people are superstitious nowadays. <laughs> you got another car coming in? Yo, there's three Uber drivers at the front of the cemetery right now. No. Yeah, I don't think they want to go in. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, said they completed it. They all left? Are you kidding me, bro? Oh yeah, someone's going in right now to you. Where are you? At Tombstone to your left. He went to the right. We gotta have instructions in the app. He's pulling around. Is he stopping? Yep. <laughs> he does not like it out, dude. Is this you in front of me? Yes. That's so funny because he's not going to show you type. <laughs> he's like, you didn't type. How did you say that? I set the delivery to hand it to me at my door. <laughs> He's driving away. Oh, oh man! Oh man! So close. He <laughs> contemplated. <laughs> he thought about it. All right. No more white wig. Next time I'm coming out crawling after him. You have to leave very specific instructions. Oh yeah, someone's pulling in now. Rob, you better look sexy as frick. This is your last chance, okay? Hungry. Yeah. At this point, if he even gets out, I'll be impressed. No way. Is he getting out? What? what? As he gets closer, you have to crouch. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I leave it here? Leave it on the stone. Leave it on the stone. There you go, sir. 
Have a good night. Let me stand up and wave goodbye and take your food. <laughs> Bye! Yeah, it took freaking forever, dude. This is an interview to hire the interviewer. All right, so your goal is to try and get them to actually agree to come back and do an interview for you. Yeah. If you can get it, then you avoid the punishment. Jacob is very polite. Some of these uh, questions require him to be very direct. AKA rude. Channel my inner uh, Ross and Rob. I got you guys. <laughs> he hasn't had a chance. Hey, I'm here for an interview. Jake, Jake nice to meet you. How long you been doing mechanics? Uh, over 10 years. Okay. How long have you been interviewing? How long have you been like handling the interview process with people here? Six months. Six months? How do you normally handle like seeing if somebody's a good candidate, seeing if somebody's a good fit? Nobody usually deals with it. Okay. Okay, are you certified in HR? Are you like certified in HR? Do you typically handle that stuff yourself? Yeah, I mean, I'm not certified. Okay, you're not. Would you typically say you're a pretty good judge of character when someone comes in? So, so. Okay. I feel like I'm being interviewed. I'd like to find somebody that's a solid interviewer, you know, able to really just cut to the chase. You know, not beat around the bush type deal. Okay. What was your last bad hire? What was like the last bad hire that you had here? Honestly, not something I'm willing to really discuss. It's yeah. Just, you know? Yeah, okay. I mean, it this is just odd. You came in for an interview, but you're asking me a bunch of questions like an interview. So yes, like exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like almost like you didn't come in to really apply for a mechanics position. You were more seeing how we operate. Yeah, yeah. How you do with the interviewing. Like to do. Does usually work? Yeah, it usually does. I mean, yeah. Coming in to apply for a job and then go to your spiel. Hold on, I'll ask the questions here. Hold on, I'll be asking the questions here, sir. So, yeah, I mean, if, if <laughs> so you wouldn't ever do outside interview work for other companies? No. No, you wouldn't. So I think Jacob came on a little too strong in this one. So this next one, we're gonna change our approach. So this time, we're gonna start by answering their questions and then we're gonna ease into being more direct later on. We'll tell you what to say. Okay. Go get them. Go bomb out there. Robert, this is uh, our chef, Mike. Mike. I had a couple of projects in Dallas to go to. I had a house in North Carolina. This guy just wants to know that he can have a conversation with the guy, and yeah. then he's gonna hire him. Did you ever mess with glass before at all? Or yeah. Anything? Window washing. Well, I did some window washing for a while. All right, perfect. Have you ever did management before? Uh, you know, I'm I'm open to growth. Yeah, HR is like really my only weakness, I'd say. The HR side of things is probably one of my weaknesses. So after Jacob answered a lot of their questions, so they felt everything was normal, it was time to begin asking them questions. Have you ever done like a HR job before? Have you done work in the HR department? What are some like the questions that you like to ask to sort of distinguish the uh, the good candidates from the bad ones? And they begin to answer them. Number one for me is personality. I like to try to get to know people. That's why I ask a lot of questions. Yeah, I see that. That's great. I used to be a manager at a couple facilities. Okay. I like to talk. I have a good time. I have a different aspect on life than most people, you know. So, bro, he's totally qualifying yeah. to him right now. And now it's time to see if he can hire them. Yeah, I mean, honestly, dude, I'd love to have you come in and just like interview a couple candidates with me. I think it'd be good. I'd love to even hire you to serve in that role for the company that I'm currently working with, and I feel like you'd be a great fit. I'd love if you came and did an interview for us. Would love if you would consider doing an interview for us. Does that sound like something you'd be interested in? Uh, I'm not really sure, because I thought you were looking to work here. Oh, no, no. No? no. I was under the impression by Cheryl that you were coming here to interview for a job. Oh no, I'm, I'm coming here, I'm, I'm interviewing an interviewer. Oh. So yeah, so I've been just- I thought the roles were switching. You're interviewing me? Yeah, for you to uh, to do the interviewing. You have no idea how much that made more sense to feel like I'm the one being interviewed. Oh, hey, you've- Yeah. Like, Man, this is crazy, hold on a second. Would you have some time on Thursday or Friday? Could I just get your contact information? 941. Contact info here. How is this a thing? We gotta have him come and interview. So like Thursday at maybe six? That's fine. Yeah. Works. I'll shoot you a text message. We will uh, definitely get back to you. Awesome, thank you All very right, much. appreciate it. Unreal, bro. All right, now we're scheduling him to come in and do an interview with us. If this dude shows up, dude. <laughs> we'll just have him interview one of the other talent. Yeah. yeah. Like, at first we were thinking we would just have them come and interview some fake employees. But now we're gonna see if we can get them both to come in on the same day. And if somehow that works, we're gonna see if we can get them to interview each other. And if that's even possible, our next goal is to have them arm wrestle. And then the next goal is to convince them to abandon their families. Yeah! 
I brief him on that he's interviewing two people. Go for it, dude. All right. How's it going? Good, good. So here's the compensation we spoke about. Hello, hello. How are you, man? Hello, man. How are you? Good, good to see you. So we got two interviews and here is your compensation. Appreciate it. Yeah. So before we try to get them to interview each other, we want to make them feel comfortable. So they're each interviewing a fake employee first. So what brings you in today? So right now they're conducting interviews for a fake media company that we that created. Brought you to it. I've always liked videos. Yeah, like I've, I've always liked videos. Gotcha. How do you feel about the company based on what you've learned so far? Um, I feel like this company is a perfect fit for me and that I'm a perfect fit for this company. <laughs> And I'll try my best every day and I'll show up here on time. <laughs> In order to open their minds to the idea of arm wrestling not being completely absurd, we arm wrestled each of the fake candidates in oh. front of them. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, all right, he's got some strength. It was a pleasure meeting you. You as well. Yeah, appreciate your time. Bring him to the HR. We'll walk this way to, to HR. This is Morgan. So the second guy that we have coming in, it's gonna be higher for like an HR position. So I'm gonna go get him. So these guys both are anticipating to interview the other guy. All right, we're ready for you. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Michael, Richard, Richard, Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. Pleasure. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'll let you guys do your thing and connect with you afterwards. So what brings you in today? <laughs> just want to ask you just a couple of questions about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what hobbies do you have? I cook a lot. I'm mm. really what's the party? <laughs> <laughs> I watch a lot of USC now. I love Jake Paul versus me. I'm not gonna spend money to watch that. <laughs> Are they gonna ask questions? I know. <laughs> so you have family down here or anything? Yeah, I got family out here. Uh, a little bit of family out here. <laughs> He's taking notes. What do you track you to get into uh, HR or resources? <laughs> I enjoy being around people. <laughs> How do you uh, hear about them like you? Oh, that, that, that's an interesting um, story. <laughs> How did it happen? That question is going to make him reveal it right now. As I'm interviewing him, he was kind of interviewing me. Okay. And I was just like, what's oh, going on? It was about a couple weeks ago. Yeah. That's, that's, that sounds very familiar. How, how, how did I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same exact way. This is your first date here? Yeah. This is my first date here, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to interview each other. <laughs> you should go in now and have him arm wrestle, Jake. Right. Hey, hey, how's it going so far? Good, how are you? Good. Can I have you pull your chair around here? I think you know what's coming here. The little arm wrestling match right here. We gotta yeah. see. Yeah, you too. I'm a bowler. That's all right. I'm Let's see. Right. No way. Do a very gentle arm wrestling. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, okay. He really got an arm wrestling. I think you won. I think you won that. Bro, everything's possible. You are on a hidden camera prank channel. So your bosses were in on it at both of the places that you work. Well, I'm shaking now. I'm like, are you gonna kidnap me? Are they gonna you know, hold me hostage? I was right there. I texted my address to my wife. So we are not stealing your kidneys and we are not kidnapping you. We appreciate your time. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. There we go. How the freak did they arm wrestle, bro? Yep. I just didn't expect that. Yep, they were ready. We set the goal so high every time. Like, how is it possible? So for your punishment, you are having to go out and hand out notes to strangers that we have written embarrassing things. This is what you get from having all your friends be so successful, yeah. Ross. I hate you guys. <laughs> I need loser friends. All right, and you're just gonna tell me what number? Yep. And who to hand it to. All right. Go get him, Tiger. Right. They're all good, but the last note says, I'll give you $100 if you let me lick your toes. We gave Ross the money. Will he do it? <laughs> Lick the toe! Lick the toe! We got a mark, what do you want? Uh, is it a man or a woman? Man. Hand him 13, and then we'll tell you what to do. Okay, hey. Hold your hands up and wiggle your fingers at him. Yeah. And look at him, stare at him. Say yeah, are you? I don't want it. Are you? No. 
Say Gucci Gucci Goo. Gucci Gucci Goo. He wasn't having it. It said, are you ticklish? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we got a new mark. It's a guy sitting alone. Go over to him and say, I wanted to introduce myself. And when you shake his hand, just hold on to it for a little bit too long, let go, and then hand him the note. Hey, dude. How are you doing? How are you doing? What's going on? What is this? I just wanted to meet you. Oh, goodness. Wow, that's gross. <laughs> just... <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't want to touch it. Say no. Say, no, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> yeah. You guys are just letting me stand there, like, with nothing happening. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. It says, I went poop earlier stand today stand and didn't wash my hands. I'm looking at them. <laughs> yeah, we can go find a dude for the next one. You're going to walk up, hand the guy the note, hold the $20 bill out, close your eyes, and open your mouth. I don't like this one. <laughs> That's good. I don't want to do this one. I'm subbing. Rob for the for me for this one. You can't sub for your punishment. I invoke the right of pranksters 437. <laughs> <laughs> Could I give you twenty dollars to eat one of your boogers? <laughs> I'm assuming you're doing some kind of game. <laughs> uh I was just hungry, I guess. <laughs> 20 bucks isn't enough? 20 bucks isn't enough? I don't have any. All right, fine. All right, fine. Say, what about your wife? <laughs> Maybe your wife? <laughs> I don't think she does either. <laughs> I didn't want to eat your boogers anyway. I didn't want to eat your boogers anyway. He liked it. <laughs> All right, we need to find a, a middle-aged woman. You walk up, right when she reads it, you say, should they be? Okay, tell me, what is this? <laughs> Should they be? It says my sister and I are having a baby together and my parents are mad. Sister, we're having a baby. It was just true love, bro. It was just true love. You know, we couldn't fight it. Should they be mad? Of course. Come on, you've been there though, right? Come on, you've been there though, right? <laughs> oh, that's for you. You can keep it. Okay. <laughs> Jake, I don't want you using my real life stuff as jokes, okay? <laughs> Can you find a group of people? There's a group of three guys, yeah. Say, do any of you guys have one? Do you guys have any? Yo, wait, are you Ross? Yeah, I know you, Ross, bro. What's up, bro? This says, do you have any mixed fruits or nuts? I have a gerbil in my butt and I'm trying to lure it out. You guys got any nuts? I need this. I need this. Bro, I, I have one. I need it out. Trade. I still got to get this gerbil out of my butt, so I got to go, guys. Sorry, guys, I got to go. I still got a gerbil in my ass, so. <laughs> yeah, let's find a guy. A guy? And say, I just needed to get this off my chest. I just need to get this off my chest. It says, I once stuck a Lego up my butt. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, what the freak. There's an old man with a big beard and his whole family. Perfect. And say, could you do one for me? Could you do one for me? Start sniffing. <laughs> it says, I really like the smell of farts. <laughs> All of you could do one for me. We don't speak English. Oh. So sorry. Point to your butt. Say <laughs> fart. Smell, okay? But fart. Like, like fart. Okay. And then, and then, could you do one for me? And I, and I. Mm. <laughs> and then rub your belly. Mmm. Understand? No. No. What language? French. French. Can we search how to say it in French? No. 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 Okay. 
Okay, how many more of these do I have to do? Two more. Find a guy sitting down alone somewhere. Look at him, squinty eyes. Kind of bite your lip. Stop following you? Now say, I mean it. I'm not following I you. I mean it. What? I mean it. I'm not following. Don't take it back. That's the last time I'm telling you. That's the last time I'm telling you. Get out of here, dude. I don't know you. Get away from me, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last one. All right, I got a guy. All right, pull out number nine and a hundred dollars. You're gonna hand them the note and then you're gonna get on your knees. And then close your eyes and stick your tongue out. Oh my God. Hey, dude. Right to it. Get to it here. It says, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you let me lick your toes. He's holding his foot up. Lick that toe. <laughs> lick the toe. Lick, lick the, the toe. 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 toe. Thank you very much. Yeah! <laughs> I would offer you water, but thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, I really just licked that guy's toe. All right, Ross, you completed your You're punishments. Done. I thought it was gonna be a bad reaction every single time. That's I can true. tell by your armpit sweat. Nuh-uh. Cruel thugs, spray paint dog green. <laughs> so we don't mention that it's a movie. The best part's coming up, the best part's coming up. It's so funny. <laughs> it's an organization we made to stop people from soliciting. Can't be in your solicitor. I'm preventing the right. crime. Preventing it, you're violating it. You just might get that disease. 